Hey guys, it's Brian from Center Consoles Only here. We're on the Sailfish 320 Center Console. I wanted to give you a walkthrough of this, buddy. This thing is very spacious, nice windless as a standard option. We're gonna go ahead and come back here. We've got tons of storage. As you'll see, that's a light storage area there with access to the equipment below. You've got these loungers, which actually have a large plate here and all the cushions in the world to go ahead and lay it out as if it was a tanning station or maybe a sleeping pad for small children. Go ahead and open here. We've got nice dry storage in there. It's multi-leveled, but it definitely takes advantage of this available space. We've got adjustable backrests on here. It's just a simple lift and move, and then the backrest stays still. We've got a cooler forward helm seat. This particular one happens to be a Yeti cooler. A very comfortable place to sit. So you've got seating for a ton of people. And if you open it up, you can actually get small children to lay down up there. As we make it to the cabin, not really a cabin, a head. They're currently using it as storage, but there is a head down there. Lots of space in there. That's all, those are all the cushions for the front and the table as well. So there's a ton of space in there. This dash is really, really clean. It's nice and blacked out. We've got the Fusion head unit on here. Space for a pair of 16 inch screens if you'd like, or 12 inch screens rather. You've got the tilting helm over here. You've got twin Yamaha engine control. You've got your windlass control, really easy to get to. Your tab control, really easy to get to. Little storage compartments as well. Little cubbies, always love the cubbies. And you've got, kind of like their smaller models, you've got this little storage bucket up here with little compartments that you can go ahead and put different items on as necessary. If you look up towards the top, we've got a hard top with tons of storage up there in that pocket as well. You've got access to your courtesy lights. You've also got this mesh box to let things dry out, things that need to get aired out, maybe uh, your life safety equipment or something like that. You've also got your captain's chairs with your armrests. You can never have too much comfort here, especially for those long trips out. You've got some storage underneath the footrest as well is nice it stays up magnetically so it's not going to slam down on you you don't have to hold it up as you're getting things out small foot rests as well that are retractable get them out of the way this one comes with a helm pad as well it was in that storage area uh, behind the console very clean uh, on the rear of these captain's chairs we've got a sink fresh water obviously and we've got a storage compartment there as well. Behind there, you'll see one neat feature for a 32 foot. We've got a refrigerator on this one. Also, we've got some stainless steel drawers. Very nicely done, very clean. Keep that all out of the way. Now, this is for the people who are fishing. A very large fish box in there can definitely store your day's catch without a problem. You'll notice we have port and starboard rock holders there with some tackle storage as well. Very nice feature, keep it nice and towards the rear. It's uh, where you're gonna be using it for the most part. I like how they did the grills there to get down to the scuppers and the, and the drains. Make sure you keep everybody safe, but get all the water off the deck. We'll come up over here. It's actually a very easy to use transom seat. Go ahead and pull the lever, raise it up, and she's down for good. Cup holders in the transom, rod holders at different degrees. So that's actually a very nice feature there. We've got an in transom live well, which is a huge live well actually. Much larger than you would expect there. So we've got our dive door as well with the integrated dive ladder. Nice fiberglass dive door that is a magnetic latch dive door. It uh, makes it a very nice option to have. This particular unit is powered by twin 300 Yamahas. Uh, she's got an overall length, I believe, of 31 feet, beam of 10 feet. So it's a very, I'm sorry, 32 feet, beam of 10 feet. It's very beamy boat. Uh, you can feel the space in here, tons of cockpit space, tons of space between the console and the gunnel. Uh, definitely not an issue to get around. Very well done uh, by Sailfish. 
guys, I'm Brian. This has been your five minute drill. If you like this walkthrough, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check us out on Instagram at center consoles only. Thanks man, have a great day.